Here we have some more problems with ratios and proportions. This first one says that the ratio of freshmen to sophomores was 9 to 2, and if there were 2,508 freshmen and sophomores in all, how many were sophomores? Well, how are we going to set this up? First, we, we know a ratio of freshmen to sophomores. It's 9 to 2, so I'm just going to write that as a fraction, 9 to 2. So we've got freshmen here, and we've got sophomores here. And then it says this whole thing, this plus this, adds up to 2,508 somehow. So when I think of how to do this, I think what these two add up to. 9 plus 2 equals 11. So in this ratio, there's a total of 11 units in all. If we can divide this number in, into 11 pieces, we'll know that nine of those pieces should go up here, and two of those pieces should go up here. So I'm going to take 2,508 and divide it by 11. I'm going to pull up my calculator for that. So that's 228. So this ratio I could rewrite as 9 times 228 over 2 times 228. And this should give me the real number of freshmen up here and the real number of sophomores down here. We're looking for sophomores, so I'm just going to do this part of the problem. So 228 times 2, and that is 456 sophomores. Let's try another one. So this one says the team's ratio of games won to games played was 4 to 11. So we can write that ratio out. We have 4 games won and 11 out of 11 games played. So that's the games won and the games played. If the team played 88 games, how many games the, did the team fail to win? Hmm, so that's a little bit tricky. We know the ratio of how many games they won to how many they played, but we want to find how many they failed to win, which means how many they lost. So what I'm going to do is think to myself, well, if they won 4 out of 11 games, that means they lost 7 of those. So 7 of 11 is the games lost, that ratio of games lost to games played. Now, it says the team played 88 games, so I'm going to set up another uh, ratio here, and we'll have a proportion. They, the total games played is 88. That's on the bottom here, so I put it on the bottom here. The total games they lost, well, I don't know, so I'm going to put an X in there. Now I can go ahead and cross multiply. When I do that, I get 7 times 88, and that's 616. And I get 11 times X, 11X. And now I just need to divide both sides by 11. So 616 divided by 11 is 56. So the total number of games that the team failed to win or lost is 56. So that's a little more work with ratios and proportions.